today we're going to learn about botanical scientific illustration. Scientific illustration is different in that it's taking a drawing and using it to teach your audience about something specifically. In this case, plants. Let's look at this scientific illustration here. Verbascum thapis, the common malign. Here we have the whole plant in all its glory, mature growth. But on the side, I have some distinguishing features. The flower spike. The flowers bloom from top to bottom. The leaves. Leaves are velvety to the touch. And also, I've also chosen to show you first year growth versus second year growth. These, this is the basic structure of a scientific illustration. We've got the Latin name, the common name, a picture of the mature plant, and some defining features on the side. Let's look at some resources. Here's the National Audubon Society Field Guide to Trees. Here you can find all the same information. The Latin name, the common name, the picture of the whole plant, and some distinguishing features such as the acorn and also a map here showing the the range of growth. Let's check another resource. Here again we have the whole plant drawn but look there's a close-up on a distinguishing feature of this plant. What the little flowers look like on it. And again later on in the book we have some more plants. Look here. The whole plant seed pod, and also the flower. And again, it includes the Latin name and the common name. These are all the features that you'll find in just about every scientific illustration. But when you draw yours, you don't have to do this exact layout that I have here. You can put your plant main picture up here, Perhaps the names in the middle, your distinguishing features on the bottom, or you can turn your page on the side, your main picture here, detailed features on either side, names at the bottom, names at the top. Maybe your plan is funny shaped and it goes all the way across the page and you've just got a couple distinguishing features. Whichever layout you choose to do, as long as you have a picture of the mature plant, the Latin name, the common name, and your defining features, you've got a good scientific illustration. Now remember, when you make your scientific illustration, be sure to include lots of details. See how many details they add. Every line in the leaf, and also what the roots look like. They even add shading. The more details you add, the more accurate you are, the better your scientific illustration will be. I hope this little video helps you guys. Best of luck!